All across the ice belt, there's a common species that is chased by anglers, the crappie. Oftentimes, anglers travel hours down back road logging trails in pursuit of the best bites. But the truth is, the biggest crappies and the sickest bites are all much closer than you think. They're all located in the Twin Cities metro area. In this series, we will be pursuing the biggest crappies caught on camera, all within a 60 mile radius of downtown Minneapolis. I myself am an average ice fisherman. That's why I've recruited two of the best ice fishermen in the Midwest, Matt Waldron and Adam Griffith, to help me on this endeavor. Our crew will aim to educate, entertain, and ultimately help you catch the biggest crappie in your life. Stay glued and stay tuned because we're on the hunt for megas. Welcome to the Crappie Chronicles. The Crappie Chronicles is presented by Vexlar and filmed in collaboration with Amped Outdoors, Ice Hole Power, Thorn Brothers, and Clam Outdoors. Tell me a horror story from the 24 hour episode. I lost my gloves. When did you lose your gloves? <laughs> right away. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie. Once we hit about 2 a.m., things started falling apart. <laughs> Wheels came off, man. We were not catching them. We were just ground down. Where to start? One of my horror stories. Waldo lost his gloves right away, so my horror story is I had to hear about it for 20 hours. I wouldn't recommend doing that, especially when it's like really cold out. <laughs> I got hit in the face with the hub house. Well, Waldo just sat in the hub house from like midnight to six. Me and Pinkala hole hopped, and uh, I've never had to re-drill holes six times throughout the night, so that was pretty cool. At some point, I don't even know what the conversation was, but at some point there was a moose involved. We followed it. I don't know what happened, dude. <laughs> I think I mentioned I lost my gloves. Overall, I hope you enjoy this episode. I haven't slept in about 30 hours now. Um, I definitely don't recommend doing this, but I hope you enjoy the experience because there are a lot of memories that came out of this. <laughs> Have fun. Welcome to another episode of the Crappie Chronicles. Today's the start of a pretty special episode. Um, today, I've got myself, Waldo, and then if you remember Ryan Pinkala from the second episode who did the really dope catch and cook, he is out with us as well. He's kind of gonna be the guest host uh, for this episode. So what we're doing now is, we got a lake that has giants on it. We've only caught a couple of them. They're really kind of weird. Uh, so what we're doing is we're gonna spend 24 hours out here. It's about 9 a.m. We just got out here We're setting up a little bit of a base camp We're gonna grab a few vexlars a sled an auger and we're gonna go drill this whole thing out and experiment all All day because the only time we've really caught a few is at night So we want to see what the whole lake looks like, but today is gonna be a pretty special episode We're gonna be spending 24 hours out here and uh, can't wait to get started. officially on the move. Uh, we've gone all the way across the lake. We're over by basically a giant flat that leads to just a little bit of a steady break. Drilling out a weed edge. Um, just looking to see if we can find some other fish. We left our little base camp area and now it's just kind of search and destroy to see if we can find an area that we think will be better for at night. Um, we do think where we're set up now is probably the best spot for night but we're not sure because we really haven't gotten into a huge wad of them out here before but we're gonna get on the GoPro and go search and destroy. 
Oh, I did not want to catch you. Baby perch. First fish is a uh, about a three inch perch. Yeah, there's one. What do we got? Oh. 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 Get the gaff, bro. Woo. Just choked. <laughs> I mean, choked. <laughs> You've never seen a five mil so deep. Oh God. See ya. Oh, look at that. That's a special fish right there, guys. Look at how big that is. It's almost as big as my hand. I might fry this up whole. I am on a baby factory over here. Yep. Just, oh my God, so many. Oh, there's another one. This one might be a bit bigger. Oh, I actually snagged this one, that's why. I, I didn't even know that was possible through the ice. Snag a three inch perch. There's some weeds that are like really short here, but I dropped on in and we got bit right away, so. Try fishing in the weeds a little bit. There's one. This one's tugging. What we got? A little bit bigger gill. Now we're gilling. Not a crop. See ya. Ooh. <laughs> it's just, it's shocking how small they are. Wow. We weighed one little stop and it was all tiny bluegills and perch. So we continue onward. A oh, nice Bart drilled right on one. Money. <laughs> Yeah, bankers. Oh, I got something a little better. Oh yeah, here we go. We're pulling drag boys. Here right now. Oh, we're close to the hole. Oh, you didn't oh. like that. Oh, big bass, big dude. Bass. It's like oh, giant oh, oh, largey, oh, oh, oh. dude. It's so big. <laughs> oh, get him, get him. My em. God. <laughs> dude <laughs> dude look at that largey man the head on it is just insane i just had him just lip hook too <laughs> you had that thing just pegged <laughs> oh my gosh that was awesome look at that largey dude that is sick not a crappie but that's got some weight to it dude that's got to be close to five it's getting close. That I mean, look is, at the head. That dude. thing is not small. Look at that. All right, we're part way through the day now. It's probably I don't know about noon, but we punched about punched around a bunch of holes and uh, just catching a bunch of dinks. Finally got into an area that looked really awesome. We marked some fish and uh, dropped down, and this dude just snapped it. Super cool. Catch a big one like that through the ice. It barely fits through this hole, but we're gonna let this one go. Not the target species, but still super fun to catch through the ice. Oh my gosh just totally fills that hole too. That is a nice big fish. See you girl. There she goes. Dude, that was sick. Give me some. <laughs> Boom! We right. love large mouths, so that's awesome. Yeah, largies are super dope, especially through the ice, but one like that, that's cool all the time. That's probably right around five pounds. It was a really nice fish. The head on that thing is a freaking softball, but. We're gonna keep jigging. Hopefully we can find a couple crappies. We just got in a cool little area here. It's kind of sandy with some sparse weeds, but uh, we definitely marked a bunch of fish really fast. So we'll see what we can find. Hopefully we get into a big crappie. Ooh, crappie. A crappie choked it. I mean, really little crappie, but a crappie. Nice, on the board during the day, that's exciting.
Oh, there's a crappie, dude. Hey. <laughs> We're on the board. Another one down there, too. Let that one go. First crappie of the day. Yeah. Huge, actually. Got him. I need help. Well, I was jigging about halfway down, battling the dinks, <laughs> and they just vanished like instantly, and then this guy came in and just cracked it. It's a pike, I'm not grabbing it. He's just letting you know that right now. <laughs> Thanks. It's it. a largemouth, I'm all <laughs> over it. <laughs> Big Larry. Oh yeah, here we go. Oh, you got him? Yeah. Big old Larry. Oh yeah. Very nice. Not <laughs> as big as pinks, but drilled right in the top lip. Yeah. Sick. I'm just happy I caught something of actual size. Yeah, <laughs> it's nice to have the drag <laughs> it's, though. Yeah, it's nice to actually just not rip them completely out of the water on a hook set. But yeah, that's not bad. Drop kick right, actually that is smack center. Like, yeah. Perfect. Right in the top lip. Drop kick with a one of those uh, silkies and then a Jamie on the back end of it. Kind of a combo that we got going. It's been working for us pretty much everywhere this year so far. Either a Jamie on the back or a minnow on the back and then have the silky up front on the drop kick jig and it's been just something a little bit bulkier we think has helped us with bigger fish except for here yeah <laughs> here i just don't think it matters <laughs> yeah but yeah it's not a nice one we'll let them go come on There he goes. <laughs> he was a little stunned at first. Not the target species, but Not nice. Not the target species, but yeah. Nice to get the drag going when we've been catching four inch bluegills all day. Yeah. The night bite should be better. I don't I know where these. I hope so. I don't know where these crappies are during the day. Yeah. And we haven't figured it out at all. No. <laughs> I need some food. I need to recollect my brain, I think. A little bit at least. And then we can get back after, but. I'm just happy I caught something of size. <laughs> <laughs> it has been a pretty slow day, other than a couple big largemouth. We found one little hole back in all the foil, and um, just nothing special. Caught two little crappies. I think it was two. Me and Ryan each caught one. Um, but not the size we're looking for at all. So what we've done is we've basically come to the conclusion that these fish probably are only going to bite at night because they're probably completely buried in the weeds right now and we're not going to be able to get them to bite uh, during the daytime. So I think we're going to walk back across the lake and uh, just kind of get set up for the night. Welcome to Waldo's Corner. What do we got going on? Well, we're about to set up the hub house that Clan was so gracious enough to let us use. And... Uh, we're gonna get the heater going. We're gonna get all of our electronics in there uh, besides our Vexlar units. And we're going to just kind of get them warm. We're gonna charge GoPro batteries. It's gonna be a long night, but you know, we're going for one fish. So that's uh, what, we're, what we're going for is just one fish. It's been a slow day. A lot of little bluegills, a couple dink crappies, a couple really nice largemouth actually. One pink hollow count one that was probably pushing five pounds. It was, it was a beast. Hopefully as the night progresses, we get one or two large fish to come through. So we're gonna set up a hub house. Um, it's actually, I'm pretty pumped for it. It's got a floor in it, so it's gonna get real nice and warm in there. So, yeah. All right, let's get camp set yeah. up. Just like that, camp is set. 
as you can tell sun is starting to set waldo got the house all set up so i appreciate that lanterns are lit last thing we got to do is um we got this ice hole power box these things are super cool especially if you're spending a long time on the ice they got a main power in them and then all you do is you can turn these on for lights so we're going to use these leds probably as our lights inside the actual house the other awesome thing about them is i can charge um actually when i was filming episode six yeah, I think it was episode six of this series. Um, my charging port on my GoPro broke. So I'm just going through GoPro 4 batteries right now. It really sucks. But luckily, there's a USB charger in this. And I can just plug this in. So I'm going to be plugging in GoPro batteries all night on this sucker. And then uh, I'll probably... See? Charging already. Um, I'll probably have to plug my phone in as well. Because as all you iPhone users know, they really hate the cold. So uh, that'll probably die as well. But... These things are super awesome. They got two 12 amp amped outdoors batteries in them. Uh, so both sponsors of this show, please support them. These boxes are friggin' awesome. Especially if you're gonna spend a lot of time on the ice in a portable or something like that. So the sun's setting, we gotta get some baits out because prime time I think is gonna hit. And prime time out here lasts like 12 hours. It's just darkness. And by prime time, I mean like, we might get like four bites. So, uh, yeah, buckle in. We're looking for a freaking anchor. It should be a fun night. Now that I think of it, I'm pretty sure I put the gloves over the or under the floor. It's the only place. Huh? That was smart. Yeah. Yeah, and I'm marking a giant. Yeah. I'm marking. Big. No. Hey, Bart. That was big. No, I turned him. Tell you what, I am really warm right now. I got a mark. What? Big? That's just a green flicker. On the bottom? Nope. Came in. He gone. Alright guys, well we're gonna make a little bit of food here. Um, fishing's been a little bit slow, but we figured we're gonna eat some food, rally, and then uh, get after it here tonight. So we're gonna make some uh, fish burgers here tonight. So we got some crappies that uh, we caught the other day and uh, I just minced them up really fine and uh, mixed them in with some garlic, onion, and uh, mixed a little mayo in there with some um, Italian breadcrumbs. You can use like any kind of breadcrumbs really and a little bit of egg just to kind of glue it together. But we'll patty these up and fry them in just a little bit of oil and uh, throw them on some buns and we'll be in business here. So this doesn't take too long. Uh, we're gonna try to cook outside even though it's super cold, but we're trying to film it. So the camera fogs up super bad because we got the, the house super warm right now. So we can't really go in and out. So we just kind of prepped everything inside and then came out here to cook it. So I'm gonna patty these up, get them frying and uh, we're gonna eat some food. So just put one together. Uh, we got a little more cooking to do here, but super hard to film and it's really cold outside. So if you want to make these, which I highly recommend, because you can do it with any kind of fish, works awesome with crappie, bluegill, and, I mean, literally any kind of fish. Um, but we'll leave the recipe in the description below. So check that out. Uh, it'll be kind of step-by-step -step exactly what you need to do to make these, but uh, we're gonna crush some of these right now and uh, warm up and then uh, get back to fishing. The food, Pinkala cooked, was magnificent. Um, like he said, those uh, fish burgers that he made, we'll have the recipe and the link in the description below. So uh, go check that out. Ryan makes awesome food, so make sure you go check him out on Insta. However, we still haven't caught a big crappie, and we've been fishing pretty hard now. For Ryan, how long have we been out here? 14 hours? I think it's been like 14, 15 hours. Yeah, 
it's just grind time. We're exhausted already. We got six more hours of pure, at least of pure darkness. And uh, I just went and ripped, uh, busted open our holes, which probably had half an inch, almost an inch of ice coated over them already. But it's grind time. All right, guys, it is about 1 a.m. Um, Ryan and I decided to make a move back across the lake. Um, we came back over to where him and Waldo caught the largemouth earlier. There's this little sand hole in this giant milfoil flat that we've decided to go try out, see if there's any crappies there, because the area we've been camped out and fishing, which is kind of just a milfoil flat pointish, there's just been nothing on it, um, kind of over by the main basin, I'd say. So we're just kind of back down a back area right now where we found some fish earlier and caught two small crappies. Hoping maybe there's some here, but uh, Waldo decided to stay out there. He's going to keep grinding for one freak out there while we try to get a freak up shallower. So, I don't know, we'll see what happens. And that, ladies and gentlemen, is a crappie. Like no light. So, I'll show you it. It's a little guy. Not sure how well you can see that, but I was marking like three or four fish and he came in and just smoked me. It's a real little one, but it gives us hope. A little bit of hope. On. I mean, I'm talking flying up, dude. All right, not a big one, but Bart just caught one. And uh, I literally dropped down 10 seconds after he caught his and just caught this one. Not a big fish, but that's two back to back. That fish came racing up, dude, that was sick. That's as many as we've caught all day. And boom, like. And yours was on a minnow, mine was on a waxy. All right, okay, okay. Um, I had three on the screen and then he was the fourth that showed up. Keeps inching up slowly. He ate another crappie. Yep. Real little one again. I'm sorry the lighting's so terrible, guys. It's at night and Ryan and I went to check a new spot. So we're actually just sharing a lantern so we can see a little bit. But we just caught three crappies in about three minutes. Which is more than we've seen anywhere. They're all little, but it's hope. That's all we need right now is hope. Got one. Got one. A little better. All right, just caught this one. It's about a nine incher. I just kind of measured on my hand there. Not a super big one, but this is the biggest one we've caught yet. And uh, we're catching them more consistently now. Before we were struggling big time, but now it's full committal. If you mark one, they're eating. This one chased me up like three feet off bottom, just came flying up and smoked that jig. Just a little tungsten with a waxy on it. Uh, Bart's still using a minnow and he's still catching them on that too. So we're around them now. We just gotta get a big one, but I'm gonna let this one go, get back to jigging. Hopefully we can get a giant. Another quick update for you all. Um, it is about 2.30 in the morning now. Ryan and I just beat up on a bunch of little ones. Um, we decided to leave there. The reason we decided to leave is that spot, that sand spot, what we think is, we think it's going to be a prime early morning feeding location. Um, we don't think the big ones are necessarily in there now, but we want to be there at the peak time of day when we think they will be, which probably is around that 5 to 7 a.m. mark. Um, so right now with it being 2.30, we're back out towards the deeper water where I just talked to Waldo like 20 minutes ago and he told me he was hopping around holes and we come to get back and he is definitely not hopping holes right now. I'm going to show you quickly what he's doing. He's really enjoying this uh, clam hub shelter that uh, we got set up right now. So we're going to go take a look at Waldo. Hello once again, everyone. It is 5 a.m. Quite obviously, we have not caught anything. Morale is probably at an all-time high. Waldo slept for about 20 minutes. 
Pinkala and I are hallucinating off of energy drinks. I saw two moons about 30 minutes ago. But uh, we're really excited about this next decision. <laughs> we're totally going to catch him. <laughs> I think. Maybe. Probably not. You think, Pinkala? Well, it's already tomorrow, so that's good. <laughs> We're gonna catch a giant, dude. <laughs> I'm tired. <laughs> <sighs> it is super early in the morning. We are exhausted. We have fished all over this lake. We have drilled holes everywhere. And to end it for the sunrise bite, we have come back to where Ryan and I beat them up at about 2 a.m. They were all six inches. We're just hoping they're a bit bigger this time. Something just shut them off, man. Huh? So something shut them off, because if they decide to go, we're marking a lot of fish. Ah, oh, boy. On. All right, so I just caught this one. It's about a 12 inch. It's lean and long, but uh, we lost a couple there. It's like, what, like 6.30 or something like that. And uh, this is the same spot where we caught all those dinks before. We came back and the bite was like totally different. Now all the fish, like they won't commit to the bait, but the past like 15 minutes, we've started to get a couple of bites. So I'm gonna let this one go, but I, uh, I think it might start to happen here. It's like gonna start getting light in the next hour. And I think we're gonna have like a short little window here where we might be able to catch some more. So we're getting a little bit of action, but that's the first one that wasn't a total dink. So super stoked. All right, so we're all pretty ground down. It's been a pretty <laughs> long, it's been a pretty long day slash night, and uh, I think we're all about ready to get off of here. But now, uh -huh. now we're starting to feel like something might happen. So we're gonna fish for a little while longer, but oh, we're all man. zapped, man. Like staying awake is just brutal right now. <laughs> I passed out in the house. Yeah, right. things are not going good. We yeah. didn't sleep at all, which we probably should have done. But uh, we were too Adam excited. just took a walk because he fell asleep standing up. Yeah, people are falling asleep. Things <laughs> are not going well. Over, face first, but we're going to keep just... grinding. I think we're going to get a big bite oh. here. That was, that was exciting, though. I think we're going to get a big one. That's all I'm saying. Got one. Oh god yeah, oh god yeah, big, big. Yeah. 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 Well, we got ourselves a good one finally. Man, that is a pretty fish. We're pink scrabbing the bunk, uh, bump board right now. And uh, yeah, this one, I marked it, disappeared, dropped down there with a snowdrop actually and a uh, couple waxies actually. I got the line just absolutely tangled around the deucer and it broke off. Um, I can't even explain how much this fish means right now. It's not the biggest. Here, you wanna hold that light up so you can get a good measure? Yeah, that thing is actually built up. Yeah, it's actually not bad. It's right at 14. I'm gonna dip this fish back down so we don't kill it. Well, and that 14 feels like a what, 20 incher after being oh out here gosh. 23 hours? What yeah. a grinder, dude. Dude. Dude, that is a oh sick fish for freaking yeah. grinding. That is a beautiful Hell fish. Hell yeah. Oh and this has all just happened suddenly. Yeah, yeah. like they just Very clicked suddenly. on, dude. They're biting now. They are. I don't know if we're gonna get any more big ones. I have no idea, but you know what? They're here, dude. If this, this is if this is the only it. one we get, it's yeah. worth it. Yeah. Yeah, this is uh, definitely worth it. I mean, this one's actually got some good shoulders to yeah, it, too. Yeah, that that's a but, good one out here, dude. Hey, that's it's uh, a 14-incher, man. That's a big crappie. Let's uh, get this guy back. Yes, yeah, dude. God dang Boom, it. Thank dude. God. <laughs> oh, We're it's in better. It, baby. We took 20 hours. <laughs> Who would have known? Morning bite. Not a... Uh, not an evening bite. Or a middle of the night bite. <laughs> if we would have known that, there's no way in hell I would have done the 24 hours.
The Crappie Chronicles is presented by Vexlar.